word out that everybody is just sitting idle. So we just thought we're going to have some quick interactive session so that we all keep it going before, until and unless the celebrity comes. Yes? So let's not sit idle. So let's make this session more interactive. What say? Yes? OK. So how many of you are intelligent in basic general knowledge, GK questions, good in mathematics? How many of you follow politics here? How many of you watch news here every day? Let's see those hands in the air. Up. Only two of them. That was not so quite impressive. OK, four of them. How many of you follow politics? General knowledge? Oh my god, we have a lady who follows politics. Superb. OK, that's very impressive now. OK, GK, normal GK basic questions. OK, so we'll, we, we'll figure out who's, who's good at uh, IQ levels, OK? So quickly, I'm going to be just setting out, giving out all the questions. In case anybody knows the correct answer, all you have to do is hands up in the air and guess the answer for all of us. Yes? Quickly, how many of you follow Bollywood movies here, Hindi movies? Hands up in the air. OK, so quickly shooting out the first question. Can anybody tell me which was the first Indian movie submitted to Oscars? Which was the first Indian movie submitted to Oscars? Yes, Mother India is the correct answer. What's your name? Ravi. Let's give it up for Ravi, guys. Everyone, a huge, huge round of applause. Well, that was super quick. So that means uh, you make my job more tougher. So I'm going to be asking you a bit more tougher questions. Quickly moving on to yet another question. This is a bit tough one. Which was the first 3D animated film submitted to Oscars from India? I'm going to repeat the question. Which was the first 3D animated film submitted to Oscars from India? Hands up in the air if you guys want to guess the answer. We're not playing KBC, definitely. Options nahi hai mere paas, so you'll have to give me the direct answer. No, wrong answer. Yes? OK, let me tell you that it, this movie was enacted by Saif Ali Khan, Soha's brother. Now you'll have to guess the movie for me. Which was the first 3D animated film submitted to Oscars from India? Yes? Nobody knows the answer? Yes, let's have a huge round of applause for her. Roadside Romeo is the correct answer. But did you Google the answer by any chance? No. OK, so all of you have Android phones, correct? So everybody can actually Google the answer if there's 4G. Now quickly, moving on to the next question. What, OK, how many of you are Akshay Kumar fans out here? Khiladi fans. OK, what is Akshay Kumar's real name? Yes, Rajiv, sir, ho gaya, sir, answer. Yes, the correct answer is Rajiv Bhatia. OK, everybody said this. Quickly, moving on to yet another question. How many of you love Ranveer Singh? Even guys love him? OK, that's good. That's nice. OK, can anybody tell me what is Ranveer Singh's full name? Ranveer Singh Dash. What is Ranveer Singh's full name? Hands up in the air if you want to guess the answer. Pata hai, Ranveer Singh dash. What is that dash? Yes. Superb. Ranveer Singh Bhavnani is the correct answer. Let's have a huge round of applause for that lady. Your name, ma'am? You'll have to be a bit more louder for me. Let's give it up for her, guys. Thank God I did not expect Ranveer Singh Padukone, so that's OK. Quickly, moving on. Can anybody tell me what is the full form of APJ Abdul Kalam. What does APJ stand for? Yes, superb. That was super quick. Let's have a huge round of applause for him. Awul Pakir Jainal Abdeen Abdul Kalam is the correct answer. Quickly moving on to yet another question. How many of you are Rajni Kant fans here? Talaiva fans. Anybody from Chennai? Talaiva, okay. As soon as I say Talaiva, I can get to know with the shades and all that fashion. Okay, now to you. Can you tell me which was Rajni Khan's first movie as a solo hero? Which was Rajni Khan's first movie as a solo hero? 
Guess pan no, sir. You will have to guess the answer. Hands up in the air if anybody wants to guess the answer. Anyone? You guys can actually Google the answer. No? But a nice try, wrong answer. Ah, superb. Yes, let's have a huge round of applause for him. Bhai Ravi is the correct answer and Google ko jai. Oh, yes. Quickly, moving on to the next question. This is a very, very easy question. How many bones are there in human body? Yes. So that's very easy. Quickly, moving on. How many planets are there in solar system? Pluto is not considered a planet anymore. Yes, eight planets, correct? Now I want any volunteer to quickly name the planets in reverse order. From Neptune to Mercury. Who can say that? Who can try? Pluto is not considered a planet anymore. So I want any of you to name the planets from reverse order from Neptune to Mercury. Who can give it a try? Okay, we have a volunteer there. Reverse order, right? Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, Earth, Venus, Mercury. Superb, like very impressive. Let's have a huge round of applause for him. That was super, super quick. Now quickly moving on to yet another question. Who invented telephone? Yes, now quickly moving on to the difficult one. Who invented elevators? Who said that? Yes. Otis is the correct answer. Elisha Otis. Let's have a huge round of applause for that gentleman. Now, quickly moving on. Who invented computers? Yes, Charles Babbage is the correct answer. Quickly moving on. What is the full form of Adidas? No. Yes, all day I dream about sports is the correct answer. Well, he is that super quick intelligent guy. Okay, I have few special questions for you, so I'm going to walk up to you later. Quickly moving on to yet another question. What does G-O-L-F stand for? Any guesses? Anyone? Full form of golf. What does golf stand for? Wow, bhai, wow. Mr. Google ke liye zor se talia ho jai. Gentlemen only, ladies forbidden is the correct answer. Now, Maybe he has 5G, not 4G. <laughs> Quickly, moving on to the next question now. Who invented selfies? Ladkiyo to pata hona chahiye, yaar, ye answer. Who invented selfies? Yes, who invented selfies, guys? Take a wild guess. Yes. No, wrong answer. <laughs> I so wish, no. Any guesses? Yes, your correct answer. The correct answer, who said that? Yes, let's have a huge round of applause for him. Mr. Bean is the correct answer. Quickly moving on to the next question. How many languages are printed behind a note? Who said 26? So many languages are printed? No, wrong answer, yes. 15, 15 is the correct answer. Let's have a huge round of applause for him. 15 is the correct answer. Now, quickly moving on. Who is known as the father of geometry? Who is known as the father of geometry? Arya Bhatta, no? Yes, Euclid is the correct answer. Let's have a huge round of applause for her. Time ho gaya. Before she types, they, somebody already gave the answer. Quickly, moving on to the next question. Who's known as the Iron Man of India? Yes, Sardar Vallabhai Patel is the correct answer. Okay, moving on to yet another question. How many of you love Sanjay Dutt here? Sanju Baba fans? No one? Should I skip the question? Yes, no? Should I skip the question? Yes, no, maybe? No? Okay, so quickly moving on. Sanjay Dutt was held under which act? Tada, correct? Now, can anybody tell me what is the full form of Tada? Terrorist, Arms and Detention Act. No, Detention Act. Wrong answer. 
Yes, terrorist and disruptive activities is the correct answer. Let's have a huge round of applause for her for all that hard work she's done. Now, quickly moving on to the next question. Who invented ballpoint pen? Please don't say Reynolds. It's not the company's name. You'll have to name the person. Who invented ballpoint pen? No? Google wrong answer bata rahe. No? That's not the correct answer. No? Any guesses? Yes? Yes, Biro Brothers is the correct answer. Quickly, moving on to the next question. Okay, I'm going to be asking few easy questions because everybody can participate. One Day Mataram was written by whom? Bankim Chandra Chatterjee is the correct answer. Who composed the famous song? Sare jaha se acha. Nahi yaar. Definitely not A.R. Rahman. Yes. Maybe he wrote the lyrics and sung for us, but no. Yes, Mohammed Iqbal is the correct answer. Let's have a huge round of applause for her. Now, quickly moving on. Which city is known as the electronic city of India? Yes, Namma Bengaluru is the correct answer. The famous rock garden is located in which city? Yes, Chandigarh is the correct answer. How many smokers here in the hall, please? Raise your hands. I know all our doctors, all our dental doctors, but still, how many of you smoke here? None? Then it's a perfect question. Which day is celebrated as World's No Smoking Day? Superb, that was very quick. 31st May is the correct answer. Let's have a huge round of applause for him, guys. 31st May is the correct answer. Wow, very impressive. How did you remember the date, sir? You knew already? That's why I can remember the date. Superb, thank you so much for participating. Quickly, moving on to the next question. How many of you follow cricket, guys? Cricket, cricket. Ricky Pointing is also known as? Yes, Punter is the correct answer. Let's have a huge round of applause for him. Now, when and where Olympics was held? In which year and in which country Olympics was held? Yes, Athens in the year? You'll have to name the year. Yes, 18. Nay, 1864, no, no. Okay, before everybody start guessing all the numbers, 1896 is the correct answer. Now, quickly moving on. Which player has scored the most runs in single test innings? Brain Lara is the correct answer. Let's have a huge round of applause for him. Quickly moving on. Who was the first ODI captain for India? Superb. Ajit Wadekar is the correct answer. Let's have a huge round of applause for him. Quickly moving on to the next question. The Dronacharya Award is given to coaches. Superb. Now, this, let's see who's going to answer. In which city was the first ODI match played in India? You'll have to name the city. Superb. Very impressive. Ahmedabad is the correct answer. Let's have a huge round of applause for him. Quickly moving on to the next question. Name the movie in which Amitabh Bachchan, Rajni Khan, and Kamal Hassan enacted together. Superb. Giraftar is the correct answer. Which was the last movie directed by Yash Chopra? Yes, Japta Ke Jaan. Very easy. Quickly, who produced the movie Fir Bhi Dil Hai Hindustani? Juhi Chawla and? Yes, Shah Rukh Khan is the correct answer. Now, who was the first Indian cartoonist from India? Yes, R.K. Lakshman is the correct answer. Quickly moving on to the next question. What is the full form of news? Yes, North, East, West, South is the correct answer. Quickly moving on to yet another question. Very easy. What is the full form of BCCI? 
Yes, Board of Cricket Control in India. Quickly moving on, full form of CCTV. Yes, who said that? Closed circuit? Yes, of course. Closed circuit, you were very confident. When TV came, uh, television, yes. Closed circuit television is the correct answer. Let's have a huge round of applause for him. Quickly moving on, what is the full form of DVD? DVD, what does DVD stand for? Digital? Video disc, video is the wrong answer. Visual disc is again the wrong answer. No, yes, who said that? Superb, let's have a huge round of applause for him. Digital versatile disc is the correct answer. Quickly moving on, this is a very easy one. What is the full form of FIR? First information report. Now, how many of you are engineers here? How many of you did your engineering? Hands up in the air. So all the question goes to you, what is the full form of laser? L-A-S-E-R. Superb, I'm very impressed by all of you. All of you are buckling up. So of Nimans, N-I-M-H-A-N-S. How many of you are from Bangalore here? No, wrong answer. National Institute of Mental Health and? Superb, that's the correct answer. Let's have a huge round of applause for him. National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences is the correct answer. Quickly moving on, who was the first Indian woman to win a medal in Olympics? Who was the first Indian woman to win a medal in Olympics? P.T. Usha, wrong answer. Yes, Karna Maleshwari is the correct answer. Let's have a huge round of applause for him. We have competition, yes. We have serious competition here. Now, quickly moving on to yet another question. Who was the first Indian Bollywood actress to be featured in the Time magazine? First Time magazine. Priyanka Chopra is the wrong answer. No. In the first time magazine, so the old veteran actresses, guess the names, quick. Zina Zaman, wrong answer. No? Yes, Parveen Babi is the correct answer. Let's have a huge round of applause for him. Now, quickly moving on to yet another question. Who was the highest run scorer in Ranji Trophy cricket? Who was the highest run scorer in Ranji Trophy cricket? Superb, Wasim Jaffa is the correct answer. Very impressive. Now, who was the top goal scorer in Football World Cup with 15 goals? Yes, Ronaldo. Looks like you're a Messi lover, but no, Ronaldo is the correct answer. Now, quickly moving on to the very easy question. What is the length of a cricket pitch? How many yards? Yes, 22 yards is the correct answer. Walker Cup is given in which sport? Walker Cup. Long tennis, wrong answer. Walker Cup is given in which sport? Yes, golf is the correct answer. Do you have any chits or somewhere that you <laughs> you seeing the answers? No, superb. Golf is the correct answer. Now, quickly, what is the full form of MMS? Multimedia? That's just the single M. What does the other M stand for? Yes. Yes. Multimedia messaging service is the correct answer. Now, quickly moving on to yet another question. Yes. So moving on to the most intelligent person here. I'm going to be walking up to you. Yes. Your name, sir? Pavan. Okay. Let's have a huge round of applause for Dr. Pavan, guys. Everyone, everyone. Okay. So, Pavan, this is going to be a very, very simple task for you. I'm going to be saying two simple English sentences, okay? All you have to do is just tell me which one of the sentences is correct. Yes? And if anybody knows the answer, nobody is going to teach Pavan. Done deal? Yes? Can I hear a louder yes? Okay. So, the sentence goes like this. The yolk of the egg is white or... The yolk of the egg are white. Which of these two is the correct one? 
the yolk of the egg is white or the yolk of the egg are white which of these two what is the correct one the yolk of the egg is yellow superb let's have a huge round of applause for pavan the yolk of the egg is yellow yes please have a seat moving on to you yes what's your name gaurav okay guys let's have a huge round of applause for gaurav now very very simple question yes last two questions and we have something nice coming up on stage for all of you we have a special illusionist who's just going to walk up now yes now quickly gaurav which one is heavier 100 tons of cotton or 100 tons of iron which one is heavier both are equal weight because yes the mass is same yes because both the masses are same let's have a huge round of applause for him guys now moving up to here okay in that that table who is that most intelligent person who's good in mathematics okay how many of you are good in mathematics decide yeah. mathematics yeah. you yeah. everybody think that he's the mr intelligent guy in mathematics yes, yes. okay so according to your friends they think that you are that genius person in mathematics can we know your name sudeep ambare sudeep let's have a huge round of applause for sudeep guys sudeep you'll have to stand for all of us so that everybody can look out now quickly i'm going to be asking you two three simple questions related to mathematics okay all you have to do is just give away the answer as quickly as possible without taking much time yes ready quickly how much is 1030 plus 1030 1030 2060 guys please do not help him now quickly 1030 2030 2060 plus 30 2090 2090 plus 10 3000 yeah. 2090 plus 10 2100 is the correct answer that is the reason i say sudeep do not concentrate on me concentrate on the sentence you would have got it right let's have a huge round of applause for him thank you so much for participating <laughs> thank you so much for participating now quickly moving on to this table the last question for now who is that most intelligent person here definitely looks him because he's wearing the spectacles okay so i what's your name sir okay so i'm not going to be asking a question regarding mathematics does that work out for you yes your name shriram Ladies and gentlemen let's have a huge round of applause for Sri Ram. Okay so quickly moving on to the last question now. It's okay beta you don't teach him the answer it's okay. Now if a plane crashed between the border of India Pakistan where do you think the survivors will be buried? I'm going to repeat the question for all of you. If a plane crashed between the border of India and Pakistan where do you think the survivors will be buried India or Pakistan Exactly give me a high five you were not supposed to teach him but never mind let's have a huge round of applause for her your name ma'am I am Dr Janani Dr Janani let's have a huge round of applause for Janani Did he get this wrong once again Yes Yes they would not be buried because they are survivors yes now quickly moving on ladies and gentlemen we have a surprise element for all of you lined up now we have a illusionist and a mentalist who is going to come walk up on stage and play with all our minds so i tried playing with all of your minds where i was a bit unsuccessful now so we have a very trained person who's going to come play with your minds as he is the illusionist and a mentalist he has performed for 1000 plus shows and he's performed across globe and in countries including USA Mexico Canada and Caribbean islands his specialty is close up magic and psychological illusions ladies and gentlemen let's clap as loudly as possible in welcoming alan lewis as he's going to walk up on stage now and perform some walk around magic for all of you 
and in some time we'll have the gorgeous charming sohali khan thank you so much for joining us thank over you. to alin thank you thank you thank you hello good morning everyone ladies and gentlemen good morning good, good afternoon <laughs> all right <laughs> that's the first trick i was trying to play on your minds you you folks seem pretty uh, smart and to the present moment so let's uh, let's go go ahead with the warm up before we start the show so i want all of you to participate i want all of you to go ahead hold out your arms right in front of you all right go ahead and leave your arms right in front of you that's right um, and you can clap once that's right and you can go ahead and do that don't do that uh, sorry about it all right you're going to go ahead clap once turn your hand so that your palms facing outwards turn your hand that's right you're going to raise your right hand up your right hand up cross your arms interlace the fingers make sure the right thumb comes on top of the left thumb the right thumb should be on top of the left thumb all right and then hold out your four fingers now if you had taken my instructions right you will all be able to do this dope so that's just a simple example of how easy it is to misdirect the human minds once you know how to do that all right you can give yourselves a big round of applause for participating so with that done welcome to my show this is mind magic mystery i will perform this show across the globe in um, various countries and as well as in a lot of cities in india i'm very proud and glad that i'm presenting this for you today i as a kid uh, never liked magic i thought uh, whatever i saw upon stage was something to do with uh, curtains or uh, the lighting so i i knew there is some something was going on behind the screens behind the curtains so I, it it was not very impressive i got into magic only when i first saw this tv special most of you must have seen this it's called david blaine street magic uh, this had come up Uh, probably 14 years back and i watched the show where he showed a deck of cards for the tv spectators and i picked a card in my mind and then he took a random card he flicked it and the card changed into the card that i was thinking of this totally blew my mind i in fact i was watching this alone sitting in sitting in my house i jumped out of my chair freaked out did not know what hit me and that's what got me into magic and ever since then i've been exploring various branches of magic like uh, hypnosis mentalism psychological illusions and i have certain bits of uh, these entertainment for you tonight today so without going much into this i'm going to start my first act which is from the distant past this has been performed almost 2000 years uh, back by the egyptian magicians for kings and queens and i'm uh, i'm going to perform this for with one of you uh, do can i have a gentleman who has uh, loose pockets do you are you wearing jeans or i need i need somebody who who is wearing loose pockets can i have you up here yeah yeah great i think i can have you up here you can come join me as he joins me give him a big round of applause right awesome what's your name sir aditya aditya lovely as you can come please stand right here and i want you to empty your uh, right hand pocket empty your uh, or or much better you can empty your coat pockets right here do you have anything yes. there in fact just empty them you can leave them right here it's empty okay brilliant here we have a piece of uh, rope you may take this you can make sure that it is all right yeah it's good yeah you can check that it's, it's okay yeah. okay great in fact um to see this ends i'm going to give you a yeah okay you can hold this one in fact i want you to go ahead and trim these ends you can trim the ends so that 
we know that there are no magnets or nothing tricky, nothing glue. No, no glues at the end, yeah. all right? Okay. In a second, uh, you can come, turn right here. So we'll be needing the scissors in a second. We're going to cut this. Uh, all right, I'm gonna cut the rope probably maybe over there. But then we're supposed to use the scissors. But this is this is what happens when when I don't when I don't use the scissors. Uh, I should have used the scissors uh, because you see they are not equal. But you know I'm kidding because if I have to make them equal, all that I've got to do is all right. Is is that is that uh, because you are awestruck? I don't I don't hear any applause. All right. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. All right, now, um, do you do you want to start from the beginning? Is it is it kind of confusing? We'll we'll do that. All right. In fact, thank you, thank you. Uh, in fact, you can go ahead, hold these two ends, hold the two ends. Brilliant. You did exactly what I asked you to do. You left me without any ends. All right, now to, thank you. Now to attach this, to attach this, watch this, this is my favorite part. Now to attach the ends, all that I've got to do, just hang it. As you can see, it attaches just like that. All right. Um, okay, in fact, I'll give you a choice. You can go ahead, and you say stop anywhere you like. Stop. Right there? Wherever you said stop, right there. <laughs> right? Um, in fact, we're going to leave a small knot. So as you can see, we have four ends and a knot. In fact, I wanted to go ahead, hold the end, please, hold the end. And first thing, the ends here vanish. All right, the ends vanish, and second, the knot vanishes. All right, and third, so you, no, you, you won't vanish. That would, that would be a, that would be a miracle. Um, okay, your pockets are empty. I'm gonna leave the ends inside, all right? So you can just hold on to that. I'm just gonna leave the ends inside your pocket. So I want you to leave your hand on on top of this, not not inside, but I want you to leave it on top. All right, hold on to that. The idea is to move the ends from inside his pocket out. All right, and there you go. Is that good? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for being a good sport. Thanks for coming, joining me. Give him a big round of applause. <laughs> Lovely. Right. Any uh, any uh, NLP practitioners in the in the audience? Neuro linguistic programming. Does anyone know what it is? There is something. Uh, there is a subject called NLP. Uh, look up online. It's a very fascinating subject. And uh, there, are, there, is a, there is a phenomenon uh, in NLP where you get to see a person's eyes uh, as they are talking and you, you understand whether the person is retrieving an information uh, from their memory or are they being present to the moment and as they are talking and also what sort of um, memory it is. Is it, is it something to do with auditory memory? Is it something to do with visual memory? Um, that sort of cues, you get to see a person's eyes and you get to that's it for it, all right? So we're gonna try something like that. So I'm gonna throw this uh, paper ball into the audience. The one who catches this, I want you to please come join me. Here it comes. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Did I hit your head? You, you may join, you may join. You may come up on stage, give her a big round of applause. You can take, the, you can get the paper ball as well. You can. Hold on to that. 
we will be will be requiring it to pick more people. Hello, lovely to have you here. What's your name? Dr. Parul Singh. Parul Singh, Dr. Parul Singh. Uh, you may leave this uh, right there. We will get back to this. Uh, you can. Do you play cards? You don't play cards. Uh, do you know the names of the cards? To some extent, there are four suits, club spades, hearts, diamond. So it's going to be very simple. Here we have a deck of cards here. All right. So they are different, right? Yes. Are you able to see it on the screen? Yeah. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. I'll go through these cards. You can touch on the back of any one of these cards, all right? So as I go through this, you can touch on the back of any one of these. That one? Yes. Do you want to change your mind or do you want to stick with this one? Yes. Sure, this one, all right? Yes. So this one right here, you may take a quick look at it, all right? I think uh, none, uh, you, you did not see it, right? You saw it. Remember this once again? Okay. We will get back to this. We'll get back to this. In fact, I'm going to give a piece of paper so that you can write the name of this card because people tend to forget uh, when, when there is so much pressure on stage. So I want you to go ahead, take this. I want you to write the name of the card on that, on that paper and you can keep it in your hand. Keep it folded in your hand. Can I have uh, you up, up here? <laughs> okay, all right, you, you can come up here, all right. What's, what's your name? Abdul. Abdul, Abdul, so this is what we're going to try. Um, um, Dr. Parul, please come stand right here, okay? So I'm just going to give, I'm just going to give an idea of how this eye accessing cues work, all right? So I want to just, um, I'm, I'm just gonna lay these options right in front of her and I want you to just look into your eyes and I wanted to try getting an idea of what this card would be, all right? So you, you don't have any idea what this card is, right? Okay, great, just uh, look right here and right here you, we have clubs, spade, look, look, at, look at me, look, look, look right here. So we have clubs, spade, hearts and diamond, all right? Clubs, spade, hearts and diamond. Clubs, spade, hearts, diamond. What do you think? Which suit is it? Is it a heart? It's an, it, the the whatever the suit is. You saw? No, it's not a heart. What is what is the suit? No, not the complete name, but we have spade. Spade would be the black one. Club is the one which looks like a leaf. Heart is the one which. Diamond is the other one. No? Okay, so none of the four. Are you thinking of a pyramid? Which does, which, which, which is, which does not exist in a deck of cards. Okay, let's go for, okay, let's not go for the suit. All right, we'll go for, we have number card, we have picture card, all right? Just look at my hand, number card, picture card. Okay. What do you think? Is it a number card or a picture card? Picture card. Is it a picture card? Okay. We have three picture cards. We have Jack, Queen, King. Jack, Queen, King. What do you think? Queen. Is this a queen? Okay. And what suit is it? What suit is there? As in, let me see, open this. Queen, okay. Um, you don't remember the suit? The spades, clubs, hearts, diamond, hearts. Oh, okay, no, no problem, no problem. But you, you did a good job. It's a queen, right? It's a queen, you did a great job. Thank you. In fact, I'm going to get this, I'll show you. Tell me, are you able to recognize that? Uh, is this the one? Yes. This one? Yes. Okay, so that's a, actually it's a queen of hearts. You can come stand right here. I'll, since uh, you don't play cards, right? I will, I will show you something little different, just for you. I wanted, to, I wanted to observe this, I wanted to come closer, I wanted to observe this. I'm going to just listen this, listen to this. I want you to. All right, 
just hold this, just hold this, watch, watch right here. Okay, uh, before I started this, before I started this, I threw a paper ball into the audience and that's how I picked you, which is right there. Please go ahead, take it. That paper ball, right there. And you can open that. Open the crumpled paper and see what's inside that. What is it? See whether it matches? It matches? Brilliant, you can keep that one. You can keep this as a souvenir and for the first time you're handling cards. <laughs> All right, you're a big round of applause. Thank you very much. Okay, any, any couples in the audience? Couples? Please put your hands up, couples. All right, uh, I think I can have you both up here. Give them a big round of applause as they join me. All right. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Hi, how are you? Very good. What's your name, sorry? Dr. Pallavi. Dr. Pallavi, and you are? Sudeep. Mr. Sudeep. All right. Lovely to have you both. How long do you know each other? 11 months, oh, okay, all right. Um, so I'm going to try something for which uh, Dr. Pallavi, have you ever tried the meditation or anything like that before? I'm bad at it. You're bad at it? Okay. Uh, but if I guide you and if I help you to go a little deeper in, in like inside yourself, will you be able to do that? Will you be able to take my lead? Yeah. Brilliant. So we will try this. I want you to come and stand right here. You come stand right here. Right there, okay, great. And I want you to, uh, can you roll your sleeves up please? And I want you to stand right here facing the audience and I want you to roll your sleeves up as well. That's good, that's good, uh, that's good. Only one, that's good. Um, okay. Only your right hand would be, all right. Okay, Pallavi, uh, I want you to take my instructions exactly word by word, only then this is going to work, okay? And I want you to give you 100%, if I ask you to imagine something, just give you 100%. That I'm good at. That you're good at it, <laughs> all right, brilliant. I'm not, by the way, I'm not going to hypnotize you. Is it, this would appear as if I'm, I'm doing something like that, but I'm not actually hypnotizing you. I'm, I'm going to put you in a, in a comfortable and calm place where you would be able to Listen to me, communicate, communicate with me on a very different level, all right? So let's go ahead, let's do this. I want you to hold out your hand right like this. Okay, right like this, all right, good. I want you to if I come stand right here. Okay, brilliant. Please, I want you to go ahead do Can you see up, hold out your hand a little down, okay? Now, this is not meant to be funny, so I want you folks to coordinate, cooperate, and I want you to uh, re refrain from talking or uh, giggling as this is happening. I want both of you to go ahead and look at that uh, sign over there which says fire exit. Just look at it right there. I want both of you to just look at it and go ahead and close your eyes, both of you. I want you to close your eyes and do not open your eyes until I ask you to open, which is very important. I want you to observe every sensation that you go through. And do not open your eyes until I ask you to open. Keep your eyes closed.
keep your eyes closed. If you had felt a feathery touch on your right arm, nod your head. If you had felt a feathery touch on your arm twice, nod your head. If you felt a feathery touch on your nose, nod your head. If you felt pokes on your back, nod your head. All right, you can go ahead, open your eyes. Open your eyes, both of you. And you can relax, you can drop your arms, you can come a little closer. You know, do you, do you know what happened actually? I touched only one of you. The other person could feel it. I only touched one of you. I think I should leave them without letting them know who, <laughs> whom I actually touched, <laughs> right? I touched him, that's right. You both like with your 11 months of bond creeped them all out. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. How many, how many pokes did you feel? How many pokes did you feel on the back? Two. Two? Brilliant. Thank you. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for Thank <laughs> taking my lead. Thanks. Thank, Thank you very much. Jo I mean, you can take your seat. Thank you. Give them another big round of applause. Okay, um, any ladies with jewelry? Do you, you have some jewelry on your hand? Let me give her a big round of applause. Saumya, everybody. All right, Saumya can come and join me right here. So you have, what do you have? A ring. A ring, okay. I think this one would be, would be perfect. What is it made of? Diamonds. It's made of diamonds, perfect. Do you trust magicians? <laughs> All right, you, you, may, you may take that off. You can take that off. All right, so I'll show you something interesting with that. Okay, watch. In fact, I'll take this if I just hit the ring. Oh. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, Samia. Give her a big round of applause. <laughs> Thank you. That's my engagement ring. That's your engagement <laughs> ring. Okay. Um, how much does it cost? I don't know. Any idea? No, no idea? Okay. No, I thought I'll pay you in cash. <laughs> no. <laughs> I need the ring. Uh, it is gone to the universe. <laughs> it, is, it is out there now. Please hold this. I, let me see how much I have. You, you, may, you may get more money, yeah. So inside this is your, actually, I've left your, oh, this is a, there's another pouch. And inside this, you have another pouch. <laughs> this is gonna go on for the next half an hour. <laughs> All right, so I'm here, inside this, if you see, I have this kerchief. Let's leave all this here. Open your hand. Open it real flat. Now watch, watch this right in the middle. Just a minute. Right there. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Make sure it's, it's, it's your ring. Are you enjoying this? Yeah. Yep. Uh, were you able to see the close-up uh, magic on the screen? Were you able to enjoy it via the screen? Yeah, okay. Um, what I'm about to show you now is not a trick. 
This is something which I had accidentally discovered as a kid, and I got so freaked out that I can try, I, I can do this, that then I, I did not do this for the next, I believe, 12 years. I did not try this at all. And then I read about Indian fakirs. Um, there are mi Sufi mystics known as Indian fakirs. You would have heard about them. They, they, they do these crazy stunts like laying on a bed of nails without any discomfort, th such sort of thing. And they perform this, whatever I'm about to show you now, as a torture stunt. It is a little weird to watch, but which is something you will remember from, from this show for sure. So if there are any kids in the audience, you can keep your eyes closed. Um, make sure that they don't see what I'm about to show them. Can I have somebody from here? Can I have you up here? Yep. And as, as well as you, sir? And two more. Can I have uh, you two up here? Yep. Please come join me. Hello. Hello. What's your name? I'm Dr. Angkitagarwal. Dr. Ankit Agarwal, and you are? Hello, Shraddha. Shraddha, all right. Hi. Hi, Ankita. Ankita, and you are? Ravi. Dr. Ravi. Lovely to have you. Dr. Ravi, can you please uh, tell everybody what, what, it, what is it? It's a nail. It's a nail? Yeah. It's, a, it's a genuine nail, right? It's a real <laughs> nail. In fact, you may tap it on this so that you know that it's a solid, it's a real nail. All right, excited? <laughs> okay, it's scary. Okay. <coughs> and do not try this at home. Oh. Yeah, wait till you go to your workplace, you get a better crowd. I'm a little scared. You're a little scared? That's a good place to be at. All right. Are you able to see? Is it is it happening? Is it going in? So we, I, I'm among doctors, so I don't have to worry if anything goes wrong. Inside? Yeah, All right, Dr. Ankit, yeah. please go ahead and hold this. Okay. Hold this and All right. <laughs> hold it firm. Hold it firm. All right. Hold it firm. And, and you can move it inside a little. Then you can let it go. You can let it go. All right. Uh, would you like to try it? You can feel it yes. inside. Come and I want you to just hold this. You, you seem to be excited. Don't, <laughs> don't push it in. That would kill me. All right. So, be really gentle. I want you to hold the end, really firm. All right. Hold it firm. Hold it. All right. All good? I don't have any problem doctors have said. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.